In this video, we present the solution to question number 10 for the practice exam number one for math 1210, in which case you're given an illustrated graph on which we're asked to determine where on the graph is it increasing, what intervals are is the graph increasing. Now be aware when you're asking questions of intervals here, these will always be intervals of the x coordinates. We're not asking what the y coordinates are. We're asking where in the domain, where, what, which x coordinates is the function increasing. Okay, so when we look at this graph, where is it increasing? Well, um, when you go from negative 6 to negative 4, the function was decreasing. That doesn't quite work. Nuh-uh. Um, from negative 4 to negative 2, it's increasing. From negative 2 to 0, it's still increasing. So that part's so far so good. Um, we go from 0 to 2, that was decreasing. We don't want that section right there. From 2 to 3, it was increasing, so we want that section right there. And then from 3 to 6, it's decreasing. We don't want that. So we're going to be grabbing this section right here, negative 4 to 0. And we should put, we should put open parentheses here. Negative 4 to 0, it was increasing. Union, this sector right here, which was 2 to 3. So we look for that amongst the solutions. And we see that that would be option number F right here. Now, I want to mention a few variants of this question. Um, this asks about increasing, but it could easily have asked about decreasing, uh, which is a very similar function, a, a question, I should say. Um, anywhere is the function constant. That's another issue related to monotonicity. This question could also be phrased in concavity in some regard. It could have asked you, where is this function concave up? Right? It could ask, where was it concave down? It could have asked anywhere, where was it, con was it straight? right where there's no curvature to it whatsoever and so if you want to do some extra practice on this question number 10 i want you to revisit it with the questions where is it decreasing where is it constant where is it concave up where is it concave down where is it straight because um, those could be potential variants and of course on the actual test you'll most likely see a different graph than the one you see right here